Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, back on the farming tournament. So right now, we're doing a little yard cleanup. Need to get some of these trailers put away. Got a seed tinder here. Also, we need to get our equipment running, so after we get this yard cleaned up, we're gonna go get that equipment running. I think we need to hook up to the fuel tank too, so back this up, show my backing up ability or non backing up ability, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Oh, a little bit too far there. Park that. I think I would like to put this header somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. It's a little bit in the way. This is kind of where we pull in, check out the equipment. Not sure why I can't hook up to it. There we go. I think I'm going to put this header over here. Uh, just because don't know if I can back that up into a garage. I would like to have probably a kid steer or a little itty bitty tractor for that. That would work out great. Uh, we'll hook up to the fuel tank here. So I know we need to get the we need to get our cotton harvester filled up. So the last vid I did, I had shaders on. This vid, I don't. Oh, it's already full. So we will shut this off here. Want to do a little bit more cleanup. Just a little organization. We got this other seed tinder here. Adam's seed box here. We might run this over to the field too to fill up the cedar after we get the cotton harvester employee running. So we have a cedar I'm trying to plant more cotton. We'll park it in the shed as of right now. Just in case we don't get to it. So let me know if you like the shaders or you don't I really like it I think it really makes the chrome pop uh, to me it just it's a little bit of vibrance to the color and it just puts more realism in the game so we don't actually have a semi at the farmyard or do we Oh, yep. We got the flathead here. So I think we may have to haul some grain to this series. Start this bad boy up. I would like to get the harvester, our gleaner harvester, put away. Just a little sh shop yard clean up here quickly. We'll park that, we'll leave that semi running so it warms up a little bit. Oh, whoa. That wasn't the most graceful. Hopefully we will wear in the brown pants because they just got brown. Mm. 
move this gleaner combine. I don't think, I believe Austin Farmer, he said he was going to try to knock out the sunflowers that we have. So we'll leave him to that. The front of this gleaner really looks good. I just wish the rest of it looked that good. Man, that really pops. So now, I think, do we have some more shed room? Looks like we have some right by the sunflower head over there. Thought we had plenty of shed room, but we're running out quickly. So this is a good flatbed trailer from Expendable Modding. So a lot of these flatbed trailers, they seem like they cause a lot of lag. So if you ever have one that doesn't cause lag, looks like it's steering axles too. That's pretty cool. We got the little wider addition. back this old girl up not hit the header trailer that would be bad if we somehow knocked that head off there we go there oh do like I always do forget to shut it off okay now we'll jump into Chevy here. Silverado. Go find where our cotton harvester is. Go a little for scavenger hunt. Map is so big you get you lose your equipment. So I think this is the first video I posted in a while that none of our helpers went for flight lessons so that's good that's a win you see we have a, a lot of money we're making a good money on the on uh, the cotton you see uh, Austin sold another load of bales there for 180 pretty much 180,000 we have another field of cotton growing right over there. Field 19 is also growing where our farmyard is located. We're planting more and then we have to clean up this field over here to the side of us has some it's a little spotty. We'll do that after we get our cotton harvester running. I'm going to try to stay on the road here and not act like get a field sobriety test by the police officer. So I think he's over here somewhere. Might have to put the old Silverado on four-wheel drive. Stay out of Team 2's field there. Or is that? It's either Team 2 or Team 1. I can't, don't know. Probably should have drove through the cotton because now we might have to drive through the crop a little bit. don't know where the f refill point is it's not there try to back it up straight oops didn't want to do that
Then want to restart it too. Get the hired hand running here. Good looking harvester here going. Running the harvester a little bit. So we have two harvesters. Don't know if I'll bring the other one over here. I think I'm going to finish up planting. So we'll jump out of him. Leave the hired hand to run. Run over here. See, we still have some white gold over here. And some big chunks of white gold. Jump back into our Silverado. This time we'll probably drive through the field. So, I don't know if we need to refill our planter tractor with fuel. Wish we had a servicing truck here so I could service my uh, equipment at the field. Don't have that loaded, so hopefully it, it's good enough to make it. A few fields of planting, get it back to the shop. Driving a little bit fast down this in this field here so there we go jump right here so check over the planter really quick before we get started definitely needs a bath I would say so but looks good jump in our challenger love the challenger make sure have caught so this is planted right here but here on the end it is not so our hired hand missed a, some areas I would be giants hired hand not my good helpers I have on this map I really like this planter because it's really realistic in how it folds up. It pauses a little bit there. So, just like in real life, very slow at low hydraulic pressure does it open to prevent it from damaging. There we go. Now we're planting. So this planter also has a GPS on it to help it steer. The weird thing is our Challenger does not have a green star, which it's unfortunate you can't get that option on it. Let's see got a be creative. Make sure we don't miss any of our valuable soil here, our rich cotton soil. I think we got that area there too. Got to go around here. I we we disc most of the cotton in so the helper missed a little bit but we'll just have to live with that little edge the missed area 
ran the VT over it. The land all VT. Got another worker over there working to the left side of us. Austin Farmer, I believe he's running the sunflower harvester. So let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see harvesting? You want to see hauling? You want to see planting? You want to see some field work? Let me know because we're doing it all. We're just running a uh, crops for now just because in multiplayer I don't really think you get enough time to get a good uh, animal amount down. So I think we're going to run around this field then we'll run around the other field that the planters running in right now work the headlands. So this is an odd shaped field so hired helper had a little some issues let's just say that as in giants helpers definitely can use some help don't know if they are worth the amount to charge but I guess they are better than nothing so I think I prefer my course play over giants helpers that's just my opinion Maybe we'll do a little in cab. Don't know if I'll be able to run the in cab around these trees because they're so close. Guess I'll try. Looks like our mirrors are not helping us out at all. We will run outside cab just a little while. Might run inside cab when the trees aren't planted into our soil Looks like we need a breakaway planter here as close as these trees are there we go hopefully I don't miss any here like we're doing good over there so a few people said they want more oh I don't know what happened I must have got stuck in the mud I didn't hit anything that's for sure oh am I that far over there we go Definitely didn't hit anything. We just ran into a muddy spot there. Don't worry about it. Planters just perfectly fine. Planting here. Man, I'm really loving these shaders. They just bring so much more realism. So if you're thinking about loading shaders, I recommend you if you don't if you have a lower end PC you go is with as few shaders as possible so it will drop your FPS a little bit so uh, if you don't know how to do it Grant said he's gonna do a tutorial and he's gonna kick that out for everyone to see so look for that coming up he helped me out get mine into the game and here soon I'm sure he's gonna put a video out for you guys so if you're interested you can get it get some shaders too the best thing I love with these shaders I don't think we have so this is dirty no we don't have so chrome is by far a piece of chrome, a chrome bumper or whatever. Man, the, I think that looks great with the shaders. But we are all plastic and paint and metal with this rig. 
no chrome, platinum. Looks like we have a cooler down there. Keep our lunch cool. I wish I had that when I was driving the tractor. That never had that before. I had a huge cooler. I remember that cooler is like the biggest thing ever. And besides coolers that you could use as a seat, also as a lunch cooler. I don't know why my mom wanted to pack me such big lunches, but. A little bit of lag there. So I'm almost done with this. Just got to run this up to this end here. And I think we'll do a, a, at least one lap around the field beside us. I think field seven. Really not sure what my fields are. Yeah, we're on field six. That will be field seven. So, unfortunately, we didn't catch us before the first growth stage, but that's fine. I believe this is double fertilized now. So we don't have to worry about fertilizing it. We do have to worry about lime in also field 10 and 11. A little bit unfortunate. I really like doing first person tractor. Really wish the mirrors were more helpful. Sorry, I would be looking back more if I wouldn't have to pay attention. I just gapped the area there. I can't use GPS because GPS is just straight lines as of right now. Can't use curved lines which I'm really looking forward to because that that'll help out because if I could have just curved that all I had to do is run my GPS around the outside So we are running a little uh, pole tank here, some extra fertilize. Better hurry up because that uh, other tractor will be done with that field by the time we even get the headlands done. Really liking our current farm setup now. Got all the equipment and everything I think we need. We may get another planter just for the fact that uh, it seems no matter what we do, we're always doing one thing hard at a time. Whether it's combining or planting or fertilizing or disking. every field is available at the same time or slow it down a little bit now that we have the booms pulled up we'll pull around here it's like the disc in the planter missed a lot over here So I would do first person, but I really have to see the edge here.
So I know you guys may be getting tired of seeing cotton everywhere, but I mean with this map you can't it doesn't pay to do anything else. All the other crops the yield amounts were knocked down by the map author. That was his decision, which I kind of picked up on right away, so I uh, started doing uh, cotton and realized that cotton still wasn't affected by the map author, so cotton prices are really good, so I just put all my cards down on cotton. So not sure where this map is supposed to be located at somebody knows please let me know don't know if this is just made up if this is a real geographical area uh, I, don't, I don't know to be honest so kinda like Midwest Horizon my uh, let's play series is in Ohio not sure which state or region this is this map is uh, authored or what uh, imitated by or if it's just all made up I don't know if it's a real geographic area they definitely have a few really nice houses in this area farmers or somebody else is making some good money a couple million dollar houses over there especially uh, Spencer TV and a gorilla man they got a nice house and on a farm yard I was all there when they purchased it uh, maybe fertilize Do some disking or some hauling. We'll see what the prices are. Prices are good. We will haul our grain. I think we have some oats and a lot of sunflowers in our still in our uh, silos or grain bins. Not for sure how this bale got here. I'm pretty sure I picked up all the bales unless I miss this so it's really hard bales don't come into focus until a certain feet away so it's kinda hard to judge so we will watch this planter fold up there it goes hydraulic pressure is hitting it there it goes Locks into place and shoots up the front end. And we're ready. We're not going to take this a long ways because we still need it. I think we'll park it over into this, our little farm shed we have here. Looks like a good area to leave our planter. Still need to plant this field ahead of us and field 11 and field 7. Oh, I can walk through that building. Okay, you can walk through the side of the building. Got a little tool room there. I think this planter, it just, it did so much hard work, I need to wash it off before. It ain't gonna let me put a washer here. Unfortunate. Oh well. Ooh, just love that sound. So my first vehicle was a 1977 Chevy. Fixed up. Really miss that. 
not my favorite body style of the old Chevys, but definitely have some good memories in that truck. It just had the 350 in it. Head down the road here. I'm surprised we can keep that. Ooh, better pay attention to the road. We weren't paying attention. I don't know who puts these pallets in their field. So I don't know how we keep that our white carpet on the floor there so clean. So we must have a shoeless truck here. Must be a sign on the door here that says take your shoes off before entering. Here's our farm yard coming up. We'll leave this out here. Well, the day is getting short. We'll end up hauling our grain to the elevator another day. So thanks for watching, and I will see you later at the tournament.